We've just finished trying to answer the question, which game engine, Unity, Unreal, or Construct 3, can make a playable side-scrolling 2D platformer in one hour? I'm exhausted. Let's show you what we got up to. This is Laurie. She's the referee for today. <laughs> is everybody ready? All right. Three, two, one. Started. Go. Boom. New project. Right. New project. What am I going to call it? I'm still waiting for mine to load. You guys are naming it already. <laughs> yeah. It's already halfway done. <laughs> now, one thing oh. you'll notice is that the 2D template is completely deprecated, so it no longer exists in Unreal Engine. So we're actually going to have to use a 3D template and fake it a little bit. Hey, Tim, that is just <laughs> rude. Okay, this might be convincing me to use Construct. This is the best engine ever. So, Mike, wow. you're using Blueprints? Yeah, I'm kind of deconstructing the existing blueprint here. And what I'm doing is there's a lot of third person controls, like moving the camera with your mouse, which we don't need. So I just disconnected all of those nodes and we can only move in two directions. I've almost got a working camera system as soon as I add some variables, which I'm about to do. Is this your what, own what asset about? you made in the background? Yes, it's, it's too beautiful. I know it's, it's not something I look like I'm capable of making, but. I need some components and box glider 2D. Capsule Collider as well, I think. Sometimes I forget to add the 2D, and it's... I always forget that. How are you guys doing? Are you winning? My Unreal Engine crashed. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, I don't see anything happening on Mike's screen. <laughs> no, it kind of just stopped, but that's okay, because we only just got started. We'll zoom in on Rick and see what he's up to. Oh, no, don't look at me at the moment. I um, think you were just cheating. <laughs> nothing. Nothing's happening. It's all good. That was very Paper Mario. Okay, I need to constrain this back to a plane so I can only move on the X axis. So I need a rigid body. Uh, let's do some continuous collision, shall we? That'll be fun. Okay, this better drop to the ground and touch the ground or else. <laughs> oh, hang on. Okay, that's all good. It was just in the wrong spot. It's a nice cast of characters. Are you animating? Uh, this is the Ooh, run look animation. Look at that. It's so cute. And this is the idle animation. Sorry, can you please <laughs> keep a close eye on Tim? He doesn't need any additional advantage, I don't feel, with his fancy Construct 3 conversation. It's not Let's make a 2D side scroll. It's in a browser. It's everyone. I'm still installing packages over here. Couldn't you just drag the camera under the player? Well, I want to have I want to have it look nice. I want to have the camera not be completely fixed, but have a little bit of smooth moving. Uh, I'm trying to make like a Mario style brick layout of a stage. This is a standard cube. Um, and then I just added from the standard asset pack, the clay bricks. I'm going to throw a wrench and you guys have to use the game dev TV colors. Okay. Oh, well, all these materials I've been using are for nothing. <laughs> what are those colors? There's the game dev TV green. Is that, Laurie, does that satisfy the requirements? That's beautiful. What is that RGB? Because I don't, I can't use hex. No, nah, yeah, you have to go find it. You have to go. <laughs> <laughs> I have to open Photoshop and paste in a hex code. Did you? Do you want me to give it to you? Do you want me to give you the no, code? No, 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 he doesn't. Tim, he really do you want me to give you the code so you don't have to open it? No, I'll go on Photoshop. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I'm slicing up a sprite sheet that I made in Libre Sprite. I just updated it. So. Whoop. Oh, nice. Hey, Laurie, Thank shall you. I risk it and try to use Tile Map? Well, I tried not to use it one time during a game jam, and it was a poor choice. I think I messed up because I think I'm on a beta version of Construct, and I think I found a bug. Oh, that's a good excuse. <laughs> I like it. Ooh, look at that. What are you doing over here? So I got it even thinner, so I'm no longer using one unit by one unit. I'm using 0.1 on the side, so it's super thin, and it still kind of looks good. I think I could set up some rule tiles. This would be way better, but rule tiles in the past have taken me a while to set up. So I'm just doing something really basic, basic layout here. So I've got my enemies right here. I've got the hero whee, right there, uh, and just some really simple tile map stuff. 39 minutes left. Oh, good gravity. I love gravity. That's my favorite theory. Now if I can just get my guy to move, then I'll have something that's actually playable. Are your games playable yet? Been playable. Uh, <laughs> I spent too much time on art. <laughs> it's good art though. One of the frustrations of Unity is if you're trying to use a namespace and you haven't imported the package, I have to go import the input system package. You guys with your like, oh, Visual scripting, drag, boom. I'm like, I can do the same thing, but I just have to type. And <laughs> Are you mocking visual scripting? Is no, I'm saying it takes a long ass time to type when you need to type. <laughs> so now I have movement, and when I hit this block, we have an explosion and it gets rid of the, the block there. So we have some sort of interaction now. He's just panicking. That's all he does. He's <laughs> <Just> like, ah. <laughs> 
You know what I've done wrong? Or I haven't told my platform that it is a ground layer. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> Whoa. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a feature. <laughs> that's intended. I tried doing Gravity 7. Shh. Stop it. Have you tried doing Gravity 7? Rick mocking me is my new favorite thing. Bro, okay. You know what? I'm liking that, Laurie. I do kind of <laughs> like it that way. Is your game fun, Tim? Does your game have a spinny head? I don't think so. I love you anyway. You have 30 minutes left. Bom, bom, bom. Perfect, because I'm halfway done with my game. How are you guys doing? I feel like things are going well. It just made me realize how long everything actually takes to do in real. I accidentally made a cactus that looks a little bit like a penis accidentally so uh we made fire and i'm just making a blueprint now that will hopefully uh end the game or restart the game with a little error message that says you died once you guys said particles i'm gonna add particle effects to my stuff too I'm cool. oh well if everyone's adding particle effects i'll try to add some to mine as well this feels like every game jam ever an hour is not enough time it's not going to be a good game, but at least it's going to make me happy that I get to go. <laughs> and then doop -a doop. Yeah, look at that. Okay, done. Whose suggestion okay. was it that you do a platformer for the challenge? Now I come to think of it, I think it was the Construct 3 guy who suggested I don't that. Think it was <laughs> hey, it'd be really cool if we do a battle. Construct 3, no, <laughs> don't worry about it, man. Unity and Unreal, you guys will be able to make something real quick. Platformers right. are honestly one of the things that Construct does really good, though. And I think Unreal is probably a, the biggest disadvantage because it's like the opposite of what it's meant for as a tool. They used to have canvas and everything built in and none of that's there, or at least none of it seems to be there anymore. Let's see the character die. Let's see. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. I wanted to make That's... it clear that you're actually dying. So woo. Although now it gives me an idea. I want to make a catapult in my game. You should definitely do that in the 20 minutes you have left. Totally make that catapult. <laughs> Lori's allowed to help me with my game, right? That's not against the rules. Yeah, I tried to help Rick. Charged. I tried to help Rick and he didn't listen. So what does that say? Be better. Gosh, I'm making sound effects, Rick. Calm down. <laughs> Are you? Uh -huh. la, 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 la. Let's ruin mm. Tim's sound effects. And he's I don't think it. he is. No, I'm done. Oh, it's you good. should do it again. I am struggling with a node that doesn't want to work and I forgot how to do it. And I put restart game, but it says error because I have to reference a game mode. And I'm trying to get the game mode. Figuring stuff out. The, um... Oh no, I think my thing froze. <laughs> Did you save it? That's Wait, I think wrong. he's actually frozen. Stop. We should, uh, we should, no, no, we should. Stop. No, you yeah, have to we should stop. stop working. Let's pause the timer. <laughs> I did pause the timer. You okay, guys I'm can't work. Timer as well. I'm pause exporting the timer. You guys are still no working. Do, no one do anything while we wait for Mike. Thanks I for totally see you can cheat. You guys aren't even hiding that you're cheating. I lost my lose condition. The irony of you losing all your work as you were creating the lose condition and you lost your lose condition. <laughs> you are absolutely right on that one. I am doing some level design now because I've already got my character, got some sound effects, got jumping, I've got particle effects, I got death. I see someone in Unity trying to make particle effects. Don't look until I'm ready. Please don't show my particle effects until I'm ready. What color is my... Is this particular enemy a bit of a pink, you think? And some pink and purple. There we go. Oh, yeah. Well, there we see go. a different now shape, too. I think we should get points for sound effects. <laughs> Unity tile map. Oh, so annoying. Is not playing. And play. Wall. That will stop my brain. No. What are you doing? Pla platform talk is us, moving. Talk us through your stuff and there, Tim. No. It, what's going on? <laughs> okay, I really want to know what's happening else. over here. Do you need seven? This, seven I, seven? What's that? Okay. 23. Do you have to set up I'm the... I'm setting up logic because logic. right now I just have these triggers that's going to play the audio. It's conditions and actions, basically. Oh. Boom. Oh, look at that. That looks so much more satisfying. I'm also kind of cheating doing things in a non-standard way. That's not Who needs to pause life. the game when you can dilate the global time to zero? <laughs> I will say I do have a full win and lose condition, so it does qualify as a game now. Hold on. Does it not qualify a game if you don't have a win and lose condition? I think that's the definition of a game, sir. <gasps> I, I, we can argue <laughs> about the definition of a game. Because this is something I make YouTube videos <laughs> I think I need a win condition then. I'm gonna make a green door, and that green door is gonna be Game Dev TV colored. 
I think you should delete the words in the background. Not gonna lie, Mike. Oh yeah. Maybe those should go away. <laughs> Look how yeah, good the game looks template. now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ba ba ba. I would like the contestants to know you now have four minutes. What is this? <laughs> you just you run, it's like, oh, it's the exit. It's just go. 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 I'm just enjoying the stress on the faces. There's no time for an actual user interface. Okay, we've got a minute or two left, do we? I better put in one more feature. I gotta put in barriers so you don't fall out of the world. One minute left. All right, I'm done early. Oh my gosh, there's always that one kid, am I right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 40 seconds, 20 seconds, 10, 9, 3, 2, 1. Stop doing anything. (laughs) (laughs) Hands up. Oh my goodness. That was fun. Want to do a run through of each person showing their game? I did entire character. I did the animation for the character. I did uh, the sound effects, I exported the sound effects. I actually added a bunch of audio effects on them. I compressed them down, I cut them into pieces. Um, I animated the little things. I added parallax to the background. This is the hero. I, I left in the spinning head because it's awesome. And you can see who the enemies are here. I love that. <laughs> He's spraying blood out of our faces. Um, oh, and you can shoot as well, but uh, your bullet doesn't go anywhere. So that was a last. So you just got to poop on the screen. That feature might get cut. If I'd had the time to set up a rule tile, I could have painted this level really quickly. And then I just had a handful of scripts. The player movement script was the main one. And just using the new input system to jump, to move, to, to run, etc. So I got it as thin as I possibly could to make it 2D. We're actually using a full 3D game. I'm just making the actual running model or the mesh invisible. And then I have some coins that you can pick up. I have oh, a block a-, a la Mario where you can hit that oh, and wow. the sound effect. And then we have fire, which we have to avoid. And then if we fall, you also die. And then if you, <laughs> you run into this, shadows in there. you win. Yes, I had you to put some, some sort of shadows. And, and what happens if you, if you fall, fall into it, fire? you get slow motion loss. Yeah. I'm That's impressed amazing. you were able to pull that off. So can you make a game in your game engine in one hour that's playable? I think it's more than possible in Concert 3. I did have a script that I might have borrowed from instead of typing it all out. For Unreal Engine, I feel like you can get a very bare bones version of a game working. So from seeing these three games in these three game engines, let us know which game engine you think is the best for making a quick one hour playable game of this genre. You decide who won. (laughs)